this video is on capacitors and in series. So here I, I drew the circuit and it's in series with capacitors. Uh, and the formula that you use to solve these is this formula right here. 1 over the capacitors in series is equal to 1 over, well, here you can use forever how many you have. And in this case, we have two capacitors. So here I have 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. And after you've done, you're, you're finished with this uh, equation, you just rewrite it like this as one single ca uh, capacitor. So let's uh, go through an example. So let's say that we have this, this uh, circuit right here. You have C1, which is equal to 10, uh, 10 farads. And you have C2, which is equal to 20 farads. And we want to know what the capacitance in series is. So uh, we use this formula. We write 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. And then we just plug and chug. So let's just enter in these values. So 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20. And, uh, well, you just have to add these together. So you're going to get uh, 2 over 20 plus 1 over 20 is equal to 3 over 20 farads. So the capacitance in series is equal to 20 over 3 farads. And that's what the capacitance is. So let's go on to the next one. So, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. So, uh, you could use this formula, the the 1 over Cs is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. But uh, you could also use this formula right here, which you use this formula only when you have two, when you're working with two capacitors in series. So, if we wanted to use this formula, uh, we would just plug the values straight away in, and you'd end up with the same answer. So, let's see. Here we have C1, which is equal to 10, C2, which is 20 farads, um, 10 plus 20, so we're going to get 200 over 30, one of these zeros cancels out, so again we're left with 20 over 3 farads. Now let's continue on. Now what happens if you have a circuit like this? It's a lot messier. And we have uh, 4 four capacitors in it. So C1 is equal to 10 farads. Uh, these all have farads on them, I just didn't write it down. So that's 10 farads, 20 farads, 40 farads, and 80 farads. So I mean we could use this formula right here that I already wrote down, the 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 plus 1 over C4, and you'll get the right answer. Or you could use this formula, the this one where you have just two capacitors but you have to use it twice well three times uh, you'll see why so what you do it if you wanted to use that one what you would do is first we do, we're gonna just basically we're only gonna take the first two we're gonna break up this circuit and turn it into this uh, this circuit and this circuit so we have C1 and C2 and then I did split it up and I just said C3 and C4 so it's as if I'm only paying attention from here to here and then for the next one from here to here and if you rewrite that it's going to look like this with two capacitors and then you just do do that you use this formula again so here for the first portion for C1 and C2 which is this part right here you just plug in C1 times C2 over C1 plus C2 and you do the same thing for uh, capacitors 3 and 4 for this portion right here you just enter it in like that and you'll get some value and then you're going to, then after you did that, you're going to get the circuit to look like this. And then you do it again, and you would plug the values into it. And you end up with, uh, with the same answer. So, let's see, we've got 10, 20, 40, and 80 farads. So, if we wanted to solve it this way, we would just say, whoops, we'd say um, 1 over the capacitance in series is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 40 plus 1 over 80 and then you just have to find uh, the common denominator and so that would be equal to uh, 8 over 80 and this one this one would be 4 over 80 and the next one would be 2 
over 80 plus 1 over 80. And all I did was multiply this one by 8 on top and on the bottom. Give you this right here. This one right here, all I did is multiply 4 on top, 4 on the bottom to get this one right here. And this one is just 2 on top and, f and 2 on the bottom. And you get this. So at this point, then we just need to add them up. So let's see, here we have 1 over the capacitance in series. You add this up, you're going to get uh, 15 over 80. This is equal to 1 over the capacitance in series. And so now all we do is just flip them and we get uh, the capacitance in series is equal to 80 over 15. And if you want to reduce this down, then we'd get 16 over 3. And uh, that's how you would do it. Well, farads. Don't forget the farads. And uh, if you like, you can go back and try it this way. Uh, and you'll notice you'll get the same answer. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like it. And good luck in your classes.